What's up guys, this is your boy Terminator007 and today I'm going to be starting a new series with you guys. It's going to be called Taters Academy. So I'm going to be teaching you, the Taters, how to become a better clasher. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to start my own little class, little group. And there will be homework, just to let you know. Nothing major, though. Maybe just to send me some pictures of how you've improved and done some things that I've suggested and stuff like that. And at, 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 at every episode, hopefully, I'll have three gold star winners. They'll be ranked one, two, and three. And that'll give you a little shout-out on my channel. I'm hoping to do this about every other week, just to let you know, because or else I might run out of topics. So let me know if there's anything you'd like me to cover. Anything maybe I missed that I can mention in the follow-up episode. And yeah. Alright, so today we're going to be talking about your upgrades. And just to introduce myself, for this episode, I am Mr. Ya Boy, Terminator 007. Okay, so gold. We all know gold is the most valuable resource in the Clash of Plans. But what do you upgrade first with it? Well, first, whenever you upgrade your town hall, you want to upgrade your clan castle. And the reason you want to do that is because it gives you five extra troops to attack. It also gives you five extra troops to defend. And those five extra troops can make or break a raid or defense. If you're attacking, you're only at 49%, and you would have had those five extra troops, you're kind of going to feel sorry for yourself if you didn't upgrade that clan castle first. Also, if someone attacks you and gets 50% and they could have had 49, you're also going to be pretty mad at yourself then. Also, it has a ton of hit points, and that will help you a lot on defense. It's a meat shield they just have to get through. Alright, this only goes for Town Hall 9s and Town Hall 10s. Now, I know a lot of you aren't there yet. You'll get there someday. Keep farming until you get there. Don't rush your Town Hall to get there. But the second thing you need to upgrade is your Inferno Tower. And why do you want to upgrade your Inferno Tower first? Well, that's because not only does it target single units if you want, but it also targets multi-units. And that can be detrimental if someone's attacking you with hogs or even giant healer or something like that. And it's not going to be the splash damage, the other splash damage that I'll talk about here in a second because this one does a lot more damage than those units. All right, thirdly, and this again is for Town Hall 9s and, well, Town Hall 10s as well, but you'll get there with the Town Hall 9. This is for Town Hall 10s, the Inferno Tower. Okay, you want to upgrade your Expo. And why you want to upgrade your Expo is like the Inferno Tower, it can target ground and air and it does massive damage. You want to get that up as soon as possible and it's really gonna help out your defense. Alright, this is for you Town Hall 8s and Town Hall 9s. What you're going to want to upgrade is Splash Damage. Alright, and what am I talking about when I'm talking about Splash Damage? I'm talking about defenses that can target multiple units. And if you're looking at your base, you'll see that Wizard Towers and Mortars do Splash Damage. Alright, I'll write that down real quick. Wizard towers and mortars. Okay, and the reason you want to do these is because they're going to take out giant healers, hogs again, they're going to help you defeat them hopefully if you have high enough leveled up splash damage. And they're going to take out multiple units at a time which can really help you. Alright, now I would definitely recommend upgrading the wizard towers before the mortars because the wizards they can attack both ground and air. Alright, so moving on, next what you want to do are your Teslas. Teslas. They're the highest damage single unit target besides the Inferno Tower Expo. And they're really going to help you, especially if someone's attacking with Go Wipe. In case you didn't know, Teslas do double damage to P.E.K.K.A.s. So that's really going to help you. They're going to take out those big units which you really need. Alright, next you want to get your archer towers up. Alright, and why archer towers? They have a little bit more range than a cannon, first of all. Second of all, they attack both ground and air, unlike the cannon. Next, you probably guessed it, the cannon. Now the cannon does a ton of damage, it does more than the archer tower, but unfortunately it only targets ground units, 
So it's still helpful. Make sure you don't neglect it when you're going up a town hall. Make sure you max those things out. All right, next. Finally, but it's still very important, don't forget your air defense. Air defense. There are a lot of people who you see don't have their air defense well upgraded. Um, <laughs> I just threw my marker. Um, they don't have their air defense upgraded, and then they get wrecked by balloons or dragons. So you definitely want to make sure you get that. It's a very important defense. I would wait to do it last, but yes. Um, one other thing I mentioned, walls. Now, walls, they're not so important to max out. You definitely want to get them as high as possible. Max them out for the first few town halls. But once you get up to like those level 9 walls, uh, maybe level 8, I'd prefer you get level 8, but those level 9 walls gets a little tedious, but make sure you do those last. I personally do them while I'm pushing. That might be something you want to do too. Alright, next, we're going to be moving on to our elixir. Now, you don't want to do just gold, just elixir at one time because you're going to overflow on both. So make sure you're using all three of your resources really, but you're only going to be worrying about the first two until you really reach Town Hall 8. I mean, when you hit Town Hall 7, you can get some Dark Elixir, but it's a little bit trickier. Alright, so Elixir, first thing you want to do, get that lab up. If you get that lab up, you're able to upgrade your troops and that's going to help out your attacks. And also, you can burn more Elixir in there and don't let it waste. Alright, next. Spell Fact. All right, you want to get your spell factory up, that way you can hold more spells, as simple as that. I mean, there's not much more to it. More spells help you raid better, especially when you're pushing. Maybe it's not as important when you're farming, but if you're using clan wars, which most of the clans are, you want to have more spells to help out your raids. All right, next what we have to worry about is the drill. Get that drill up as fast as you can. It's going to get you more Dark Elixir. Now, I know unless you're Town Hall 8 and above, you won't have it. But once you do get it, it's super nice. And as soon as you get it, though, if it's a level 1, I would actually end up doing it first before the Lab or the Spell Factory until it's level 2. But if you're, say, if you already have it to a level 2, then you definitely want to worry about these two. Don't go and upgrade this one to level 3 yet. And why I say level 2? Level 2, it fills up after 8 hours. And that's the majority of time people sleep or at work or at school. So you don't want to waste any while you're not playing Clash. Unless you wake up in the middle of your night and you're on Clash. And if you're that dedicated, good for you. Okay, next we're going to worry about our army camps. And why you want to worry about those is because they're going to give you more troops and they also, like the clan castle, give you a lot of hit points. So they're going to help you on your defense along with your offense. And also, unlike most upgrades, the clan castle and the camps can still be used while they're upgrading. So those are super nice. Alright, last but certainly not least, these are very important, are your bear axe. I probably butchered that spelling, but who cares? Okay, so why do you want to do your barracks last? I know they can create more troops at once, but you can just go and fill your queue up again. It's not that big of a deal. Now, one thing that's nice with your barracks, you're going to unlock more troops, and also you can fill it up with more troops. So that way when you upgrade something and you fill up your barracks, you can refund that price and you will earn some elixir. So that's super nice. And also if you fill up your camps, you won't charge you any extra for the upgraded troops. Just some fun facts. All right, Dark Elixir. King and Queen. Your Royals are going to be the first things you upgrade with your Dark Elixir. Don't worry about the troops too much. Unless you're looking to get into, I'd say, um... You might want to upgrade your hogs if you're Town Hall 8, but if you're Town Hall 7, definitely worry about that cane. Don't worry about Dark Elixir troops at all yet. Town Hall 8, maybe get your hogs up, but don't worry about anything after that. Make sure you have your heroes first, because I'd rather have my heroes than level 5 hogs, quite honestly. With your heroes, it doesn't really matter which one you upgrade first, your king or your queen. It's a matter of personal preference. 
Um, all really matters on your raid. If you're using like Barge or Balloonin, I recommend using your Queen, getting her up first. If you're using Giant Healer or Go Wee Wee or Go Wipe or something like that, I recommend getting your King, but others are going to say differently. Um, I personally am upgrading them five at a time. I know a lot of you can't do that if you're not Town Hall 10 especially because you're not going to have three drills. You're not going to have all the troops to get that Dark Elixir. I understand that. But if you can, go five levels at a time because those are going to get your different levels of ability. All right, lastly, you're going to want to upgrade your troops. And I'm going to go in order of what you want to get. You want to get hogs. Hogs to level five, those are going to help you wreck any Town Hall 9 and below in Clan Wars. Definitely help you out. And yeah. All right, then you want to get your witches. Because you only have one level with the witches. If you need to upgrade them that one level, you're not going to have to worry about them again until Supercell releases a new update. Alright, then you're going to want to get your almost rope golems. Oh, that looks awful. Okay, minions. Now, this, uh, I'm going to write minions and golems. Now, this is a matter, again, of personal preference. I, myself, do a lot of Belenian, but that's why I use minions. They're also nice to donate to your clan. If you're running low on Elixir, minions are nice to be able to donate. Now, if you don't use Belenian at all, don't upgrade your minions. You don't need to upgrade them just to donate. You can donate other things. Like, you can just make troops to donate and then dump them if you're done. Like, archers are pretty cheap to make, so I always have some of those on the ready to donate. Golems, super nice. You're going to need them if you're using any heavy tanking troops. Like the Go Wee Wee, the Go Wipe. Some people even use it with the Giant Healer. I know I did when I was a Town Hall 9 getting up to Master League. And it's a really nice troop. Last and certainly least are Valkyries. No one uses Valkyries, they take way too long, they're too expensive. Now, they're not the worst troop in the world, but nobody got time for that. So, certainly the last upgrade you ever want to do is your Valkyries. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please send me some topics you'd like me to cover. Let me know if there's anything I missed, any discrepancies you have with my list here. I will put it in the description below, so if you want to use it for reference, you are more than welcome to. Also, with my base review series... Send me some emails. I'm going to do some base reviews coming up here soon. I think I'm going to do that every other week with this. So one week I'll have the Taters Academy. And then the next week I'm going to have base reviews. So if you guys want to see that, you got to let me know. I'm going to have my email in the description. you got to send me your clan name, your in-game name, approximate trophy range of your clan, and then you also got to email me a picture of your base because that will really help me to decide which ones to use before I go and look them all up. Alright, I'd like to thank all of you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and take it easy.